Hey everybody, what's up? This is Jamie Gilchrist, Industry Solution Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. Uh, today we're going to do some Autodesk alias design basics. Uh, specifically, we're going to look at the Taurus. Uh, why the Taurus? Well, there's all sorts of examples of the Taurus in product design, uh, you know, either explicitly or derived. Uh, you can see in automotive, consumer electronics, consumer products, medical devices, and uh, that's why we're going to talk about it. So uh, the question came up on one of the user forms of how do, how do I edit and modify uh, a Taurus? So I'm going to show you a few different examples here of how you can do that inside of Alias Design. Uh, so first thing, obviously, here we can create a Taurus just using the Primitive Surfaces command, uh, create Taurus. Uh, this allows you to, to def, you know, explicitly define your major and minor radii. Uh, once you've created it, you can then go in and scale this uh, and adjust it both uh, proportionally and non-proportionally, uh, giving, you, giving you some pretty good control to quickly define some shapes and, and start working with your ideas. Um, you know, one of the limitations of, of this is once your torso is created, it's pretty hard to go back and get uh, you know, really tightly numerically defined uh, values to define your shape. Um, you know, one of the things you can do, of course, you can you can go through and create offset surfaces. This allows you to adjust your your minor radius, but you know you can't really do much to with controlling your your major radius without controlling the base feature that you're offsetting. Uh, and once you do this, you've also created a uh, a history link to your base surface now. So if you move your base surface, your offset surface is going to fall, and if you move your offset surface independently you're going to break that history and, and no longer have a tie back to that major and minor radius that you initially started off with. Um, you know, this may or may not be desirable depending on the application you're using. Uh, I, I find it a little little cumbersome at times, so I, I tend not to use this tool too, too much unless I'm just doing some, some conceptual stuff and I know I'm going to go back and rebuild those surfaces later. Uh, another way we're going to look at here is uh, doing a bi-rail surface. So we're going to start with uh, a couple curves um, defining both major and minor radii of our torus. And I'm going to do a bi-rail with a single uh, generation and a single rail curve uh, to create the shape. One of the things I've done here is I've set the pivot point uh, for these two curves to be at the same same place. So when, as we edit the curves, uh, their relationship to one another uh, remains intact. Uh, now you can see I've created my bi-rail surface here uh, using a single rail and single uh, generation curve. Uh, and now I can go in and modify my major and my minor radii of my torus. Now one of the downsides of this is, is again, you've created, uh, you've created a history situation, which is great for editing the curves, but once you move those curves, you, you have to, it breaks the history, and you can no longer edit the surface without deleting it and recreating it based on the curves that you have which is fine, um, very easy to do, not a problem, uh, but not really the most flexible uh, way to create your torus. Uh, this third way I'm going to show you is with the tube surface. Now with the tube surface, what you do is we go ahead and, and create our major radius curve and use the tube surface command to create our desired torus shape. Now the great thing about this, this tool inside of Alias is uh, now I've got a fully editable torus. I can move that original base curve. I can I can resize it. I can go back in through query, edit, select, and, and resize the minor radius of my of my shape. Uh, this giving me this is, gives you the ultimate flexibility and control of your desired shape. That's it for today. Come check out our Alias Design site, uh, aliasdesign.autodesk.com. You can follow me at Twitter, twitter.com slash jmeg2169. Thanks for watching. Bye.